In Chapter 2, we set up our coding environment with TypeScript, a useful dialect of JavaScript. We use it to show the text Hello TypeScript in our web browser. In Chapter 3, we make a terminal interface that allows us to draw a grid of colored letters on the screen. In Chapter 4, we take keyboard input from the user. We could accept mouse or touch input in a similar way. In Chapter 5, we add support for stacking screens. This allows us to show submenus in our game. In Chapter 6, we add a screen maker factory to allow us to recombine our screens independently. In Chapter 7, we make our game model as a dungeon grip map of letters. In Chapter 8, we make a game model builder factory to ease assembling game models. In Chapter 9, we make the player as first moving creature in the dungeon. In Chapter 10, we make the feral hunting sheep as the first enemy monsters. In Chapter 11, we add death and combat against lethal cats. In Chapter 12, we add a game event message lock so the player can tell what happens. In Chapter 13, we add stairs and multiple levels to flee from cats. In Chapter 14, we add easier ant monsters on the second level to give the player a fighting chance. In Chapter 15, we make our first real map layout with rooms and corridors and doors. In Chapter 16, we draw the dungeon a bit prettier with colors instead of monochrome. In Chapter 17, we give the player outer heal out of combat to avoid the ants wearing him down. In Chapter 18, we add complicated enemy AI, including restricted visibility and line of sight. In Chapter 19, we skip because it's not finished yet. In Chapter 20, we add ever more difficult progression of dangerous monsters. In Chapter 21, we add items to the dungeon. In Chapter 22, we give the player a bag inventory. In Chapter 23, we let the player equip items to gain power. In Chapter 24, we add monster debuff spells with time durations.